coming up, so I wanted to film this video this weekend, so that way you guys could have time to make these for St. Patrick's Day. So what these are here is they are gold Oreo cookies. Ha ha ha. Yes, gold. Mom, do a close-up. Alrighty guys, so I don't know if the camera is picking up on this very well, but you can see here that these are not black Oreos. They are gold Oreos. They're very metallic here. And we made these for a special St. Patrick's Day treat since it's coming up soon. And um, yeah, we're going to show you how to do this. So stick around guys, mom's going to show you the supplies you're going to need. So, obviously that one of the first ingredients you would need would be Oreo cookies or any type of cookie that's round um, and then this kind of shape. These are good for this project because of all of this detail on the cookie. It kind of makes it look like the details that are on coins. You will also need some of this color mist. Now, this is the only company that I know that makes something like this. However, there may be other brands out there. This is from the Wilton brand, and they specialize in baking supplies and interesting things to make cupcakes and cakes and all that kind of stuff. So we found this at Michael's Craft Store. If there's not a Michael's near your house, you might be able to find this at some other craft store or at a grocery store. Um, it would be in the baking section of whatever store you find it in. So here is a closer look at it. So this is gold and it is basically shimmering food coloring spray. So as you can see right here, it basically sprays whatever food you have. So it's good to use on cakes and cupcakes, but today we're using it on the cookies. You will also need some wax paper. So this is just like parchment wax paper. Um, that is so you don't make a mess with the colored spray. And you will need a plate to put your cookies on when you're done. So here are the cookies and this is going to be like the easiest thing ever that I think we have ever done. It's so simple. So we're just going to lay some of the cookies down here on this wax paper and then we're going to open up our spray and get going. Okay guys, so now we have opened the seal here and we're just going to give it a good shake. Alright, there we go guys. So let's get to spraying these cookies. All right, so that's what the nozzle looks like right there. Um, you should probably get a parent to help you with this just in case. Um, try not to make a mess with this. It may stain, so just be very careful. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up four of our cookies here, two for me and two for Lammy, and we're just going to do a little test spurt here on the side just so we can get a feel for how it works. Okay, so you can see the gold coloring there when I sprayed it on here. So now we're going to put it onto the cookies. Oh, cool. Lammy, come take a look at this. Wow, that's amazing, Mom. Look at them. Keep going, keep going. But don't squirt me with that. I'll get back. Okay, guys, so we're just doing it lightly at first. We're going to do it lightly because I don't want to do too much at once. And we're going to zoom in. So the camera's not really picking up on it, so I'll zoom in in just a second. But these are pretty metallic. They're very gold. Very, very gold. And we're just going to continue spraying. And then you can turn the paper around like this and spray the sides. Now, we're going to let this side dry and then we're gonna flip them over. All right, everyone, so I zoomed in a little bit so that way you could see how metallic they actually turned out. So these are pretty much dry. So we're just going to flip them over so we can do the other side. Now, this is basically like, I don't know, it's some type of like, spray icing or something, but it doesn't really have a taste. So it's just like food coloring. There's no taste or anything like that. So um, these are just gonna taste like regular Oreo cookies by the time we're done. So now we're going to take our spray and we are gonna spray this side. And then we'll let this layer dry and we'll do one more and they should be pretty metallic. All right guys, so we are going to do one more coating of the gold spray. We flip them back over. We're just doing one more coating of the gold spray so that way they're nice and metallic. And we're gonna let this dry and then we will have our gold cookie coins. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Let me know in a comment below if you think this is a good idea for a St. Patrick's Day snack. Also, have you ever done this before? Let me know in a comment below and I wanna know what you think. Be sure to subscribe guys, I do have more videos coming, I'm sorry.
sorry once again that I have not been filming as much lately, but we've been really busy and I've been busy with school and such, and we just haven't had as much time as we normally do. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my social media. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Those links are in the description box below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.